Hello everyone, Stuck Are You Here, and welcome back to a Victoria 3 video. But you're not here for me. You're not here for me like this. I know what you sickos are here for. As all of you, I'm sure, are already aware, Victoria 3 is the game that starts in 1836 going to 1936, and it is the economic mill sim of the century, where it is you know that Europe came to dominate the entire globe. The Victorian era makes you think of Britain, an industrial revolution, a time where British products effectively flooded the entire world, including opium. But you know what? I don't really like the idea of something being made in Britain. So what if everything was made in France? Do you get it? Do you? Made in France? Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the look on your face here right now. Horror, disgust, and several other emotions that I am not going to dine to respond to. A promise is a promise, my friend. So, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make France the number one economy in the world and have every single item be made in France. I want you all to be aware of something. At some point, far to the future, I am probably going to run for some kind of political office. And I know, I know for a fact that images like this are going to end up being plastered everywhere at the time that I do that. I do not regret any of my decisions. If anything, I embrace it. Because my friends, I am Stephen Bell, AKA Stakui, and I am a servant of the people. Oh damn, that actually would make a good political slogan. Yeah, use this image in the future if I ever uh, if I ever run. Now, starting things off at the very beginning of the game, France starts in a very interesting position. Uh, we currently have a monarchy that is in charge of our country, yes, but it is not necessarily a monarchy that is set in stone because this is all after the the, the French the French went and had a whole bunch of little revolutions, and it gets really messy re really fast with France and politics. We have a solid GDP, number four in the world here currently. Our literacy rate is number ten, but still, forty two percent on a country of our size is significant. Again, you know, standard of living is, is okay, whatever, but we have a very decent population, fifth largest in the world. We start with a very solid construction base, and more importantly, we have to choose what we are going to be doing for our monarchy. There are three different factions, as you will, within the monarchy that we are able to choose from, from the Orleanist, like the Bonapartes, the Legitimists. Wait, was that a separate one, or is that a, a separate thing? Ah, uh, yes, the Legitimists of Bourbon, the Bonapartists, and the Orleanists. Yeah, we get to choose between what it is that we want, and also we have the immediate goal of conquering Algeria, which we have to do Otherwise, we will continuously get raids upon our territory. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and start that off from the very beginning. France does not have any major colonies down here yet. So what we are going to have to do is try and take things out immediately. We're going to immediately start to go ahead and conquer the state. And while we set that, we are simultaneously going to start increasing relations with everyone around us. Britain, Spain, Austria. I want to improve relations with these three because since we're going to be trying a lot of colonial stuff right here, I don't want them interfering because, you know, they also have the potential to be other colonial powers in these regions or more specifically Britain. I don't want them to interfere with me. Now let's go. Oh, my friends. Pretenders to the throne. The three dynasties have claims on the French throne. The Orleanist line backs the constitutional July monarchy. The Legitimist line supports the descendants of Charles X, while the Bonapartist line seeks to restore Napoleon's French empire. Uh, no. Down with the monarchy. I'm simultaneously not going to establish any other colonies that I have to worry about paying for right now. I'm going to focus more on taking stuff over here in the beginning, and I'm going to let the other European powers move around so that I don't need to focus on any of that. Simultaneously, as we get closer to the conflict breaking out, we're going to need to go ahead and add on that second primary demand in order to be able to take Algiers. The better that we do that, well, I mean, I mean the better it is. Oh my god, we have 6,000 loyalists and everyone else hates us? Oh no! Alright, you know what? It's perfectly fine. And see, this is why we have to take over the territory in Algeria. The more that we do not, what's going to end up happening is that they're going to go and break in and destroy our shops. And I just finished cleaning them, damn it. That was that was a made joke. That, that, was, that was a made joke. And war goals enforced. Perfect. We take over that region of France. Next up, or not France. Well, I mean, now it's part of France. You know, it's Algiers. It's totally France. Oh, God, I'm having a lot of angry North Africans in my comments, I'm sure. Either way, next up on here to conquer Aitabas. And the big thing that we're having to do is continuously monitor the price of goods, which is not great here. It's actually going to be a little bit troublesome. We're going to need our own little kind of industry over on this side, which is going to be fine as soon as we get that built up here for a motors industry that should support all of our trains. And we are still going to need a ton of iron. Holy crap. And there's Idabas War. Go ahead and conquer you nice and quick. The death of Charles X. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he waved his right in 1830. Screw that guy. Also, exiled agitators. Can I invite anyone? Let's see. Presidential. Ooh, I do want that. Hold on. Homesteading. Dude, I'm going to invite you. Can I invite another one? No, I can only invite one at a time. We're going to try and push in order to abolish the monarchy. Young Joseph, Giuseppe Mazzani has officially arrived in France to a mixed reception. Some call him a pest and others call him a visionary. University lectures and tours, nothing more. Watch closely for a young France movement. Oh, whoa. 
We're, we'll we'll boost him. We'll boost him. Let him boost up the support of the intelligentsia. That's what we want. Yeah, see, it's starting over here. We want to be able to get rid of the monarchy as soon as possible because, damn it, I'm not going to serve an authoritarian. And our last step on here is to conquer Constantine. So let's go ahead and get that done. Mobilize those troops. Put those down here. Beautiful. Prussia's declared as France as their rival. Pfft. Hey, 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 Ottomans. Ottom Ottomans. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not going to side against me that way. Okay, you side against me, and that means that certain things are going to have to happen here. You're going to have to transfer Tunis. You're going to transfer me triple to, uh, tri 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 Tripolitania. Yeah, that region. Libya. You're going to give me Libya, and you're going to pay me war reparations. Because now, guess what? I'm going to have to mobilize essentially my entire military. So that's fun. Ottoman Empire declared rival. Okay, yeah, 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 sure. I could do that. You're my rival now, too. Screw you. There we go. War breaks out. Constantinople has sided them. Not Constantinople. It's no longer that. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. The Ottomans. Do arms, my brothers. We will free the people from oppression. And even now with taxes, only now is my money actually going down. Well, okay. We're going to fight down here. And then what I want to do is plan a naval invasion. I want to go and invade. Eastern Thrace. Yeah, we're going to go right down here. Launch a naval invasion. Let's do it. Send our forces in for a strike, and that should be good. Beautiful. Election results are in. The resistance... Oh! The Republican Union got the industrialists on their side. Hey, that's actually pretty big. All right, we're slowly taking over this territory. How is the fighting going over here? You should be launching an invasion. You are. We're crushing the Ottoman Navy down here. They wanted me to pass religious schools. No, I don't want religious schools. I want free schools. There we go. Our army forces are gradually pushing the Ottomans out of here. We've taken Tunis. We've taken Constantine. We are moving further in. See, I don't need this as much. You know what? We're going to lower this. We're going to lower these taxes just a little bit because I don't I don't want to start stockpiling gold, even though I am going to need all of this here soon because that at least is Tripletania and all of those conquered. And we're going to have to launch another naval invasion. God, these guys have taken some hard hits. Okay, that's not great. That's not great. Um... Budget, what can I do? I can make the military more expensive. I can do this. This will actually increase their power. Faster morale recovery? Yeah, we're going to do this. Increase our military capabilities. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte has appeared in France. He'll start a movement to enact autocracy. No, 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 no. He's not deserving of any special treatment. No, 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 no. In fact, in fact, can I, can I exile him? Is he, is he a person here? Yeah, no. Exile. Screw that guy. All right, I'm failing on all other sides, but I am actually taking this spot here. Beautiful. There we go. Now we're taking into this territory. That's exactly what I want to see. Hey! The following war goals were enforced in the Ottoman Empire. The transfer of Tunis, the transfer of Tripletania, and Ottoman war reparations. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That means that the proclamation of Algiers, we have done it. Armed forces get salute. No, subsidize the companies to acquire farmland. Ooh, that is nice, actually. The rule the sabers and end contact the sheiks. This will make the people more loyal. You know what? The maids can serve everyone in France. We can do it. We can do it. We can make people happy. The rule the sabers at an end. But I'm probably going to use it way more, to be honest. Presidential Republic support is very high, but not very radical. Okay, hold on. This would radicalize a lot of the peoples in here to radicalize the church. Oh, my God. It would radicalize basically everyone. Ugh. We don't necessarily want to do that yet. So, okay, I can't quite do that first. What we're going to need to do is weaken the support of everything else. Can I Can I do anything? Tenant farmers, commercialized homestead. You know what? We're going to need some of this other stuff in here. We're going to need some of this other stuff. I, I, I think if I can, can I invite another one or can I only invite one? I have to wait until 42 to be able to invite another. All right, we're going to get this one way or another. Oh, God damn. I have so much more money than I realized in here. Uh, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's, that's, I don't need all that. All right, here, we're going to lower that at first because what we're going to need to do now is we want to drastically improve our economy. Now that we have all these puppets on here, they're included in the French market, I can sell to everything down here. We also probably will want to dominate Morocco, probably. That could be the next valuable step for us. Because overall, I am only notorious, so it's only 54%. You know what? I, I could do more. I could do more. But I'm not going to conquer Morocco. Instead, I'm going to turn it into my protectorate. Yep, that seems like the best course of action. 17.8, that's a decent amount. Do I want to go after anything else? No, we want to secure a North African front more easily. I'm also going to add on the war goal to, let's see, ban slavery. We want to do that. Uh, I'm going to add on a war goal for war reps. And you know what? Let, let's see. Let's see if they'll just go and accept and become my puppet here. Nope, doesn't look like they are going to accept and Sardini Piedmont is trying to go and unify the Italians. How lovely. Two arms, my brothers. Or maybe maids in this case, I guess. Because I am finally going to be in a somewhat decent position here that I should be able to upgrade all of my construction. Yes. 
Yes, iron is finally going down. Beautiful. That means with all this budget, we can just pump in more constructions, tax the people more, and five sets of construction. You know, double. We'll double. We'll double the amount of construction we have. This should be perfect. Swirling discontent with an upsurge of radicalism afflicting France. Blame for the uncertainty face of the nation has fallen squarely on the shoulders of King Louis de Lon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. People probably don't like him. And like that, Morocco becomes my protectorate. Beautiful. Now, protectorates are easily the weakest form of all this. The way that they updated stuff for Victoria 3 is you can no longer just puppet everything. So, like, the strategy that you used to do to, like, play the United States and immediately puppet Mexico and then just go down and start puppeting everything through South America, you can't do that anymore. Because when you go to first take over something, they first become your protectorate, then you have to make them after that your dominion, then you have to make them your puppet, then you have to annex them. It's like a gradual step-by-step -step process for annexing. And it's, on one hand, it's more balanced because you can't just puppet the world then, basically. On the other hand, come on, man. Come on. This is all about service here. Presidential Republic. So wait, why is the support dropping? Well, either way, we're going to start drastically boosting up our construction. The more of this that we get, the better. And I do not care how far into debt I go. Add more taxes onto wine. Eat the rich. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that seems like a good solid budget in here so far. Could probably go higher, too, once I actually fix my supply issue. All right, that's good on those construction sectors, and we're boosting up our economy even more here now. I'm still losing a little bit. You know what? I could probably go a little bit higher. Five more. Yeah, that seems reasonable. New parties formed our country, the Republican Party. Scuffle of houses. Pfft, I don't want any of this. No. Who? it is 1841. We've gone from 45 construction to 159. No, 160. Even better. Because now we have mechanized workshops, which that's going to be beautiful for us. That means buildings over here, construction, textile mills. We can go down to sewing machines. Yeah, it's going to hurt our income overall. Actually, no, it's going to hurt us pretty badly here. We're going to need to wait on that for a second. Mechanized looms? Yeah, no, I'm going to have to build up the other industry here first before I do any of this. Yep, otherwise we're going to have too much furniture. That's not going to be good for us. Whoa, wait, did that say the Republican Party won? Opposition. We kind of did. Oh my God, unacceptable government. What could I do? What could I do? Industrialists, I could put all these guys in charge? Yes. Okay, it's still an unacceptable government. It's still an unacceptable government, but I need to lower taxes then at that point. Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I incorporate and make this a little bit better? I'd have to lower taxes drastically if I did this. That's not what I exactly planned on doing. Oh God, this is going to add even more radicals. Should I say, you know what? I might want to run with the unacceptable government one more time just to increase the strength of this further. Just, just to try. Because what I'm going to do here, you know what? We're going to make very high taxes. We have an illegitimate government now. Okay, fine. We're going to, we're going to reform this to just unacceptable. We're going to do that. So it's a little bit higher tier. We're going to switch over government administration. Uh, how to go from administrative clergy to more bureaucrats, secular. Yep, that's all what we want. That's going to support us further. University, secular academia, remove the clergy. We want to weaken them as much as possible. University philosophy department. That's going to use more paper, but it will improve my qualifications. I know I'm going to need a lot of those. You know, we're not going to do anything just yet. We, we, we want to wait to be able to switch that over here as much as possible. But the more clerks that we put into power, the better it is for us. And we have our first company now. Okay, let's see. Wine, forestry. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of wood. That's probably going to be helpful for us here. Textiles is also wonderful. You know what? Let's go with the French forestry. We're going to need a lot of wood here, what we're doing. All right. He'll join the movement to enact the presidential republic. Hey, okay. We're getting that further done. Cultural wealth voting. Can I switch this over to something? I really wish that I could go from wealth voting to census suffrage. That would be great, but I can't, I can't quite get that yet. Because in my case, I now have two agitators for the presidential republic. Perfect. Support is extreme here. Oh my God. 88% chance to pass. Oh my God. It would radicalize basically everyone. The landowners, the petite bourgeoisie, all of them. That's, that's not great. Let's see. Austria is attempting to sway to their side in the diplomatic play against Prussia. Against Prussia? For what? Prussia, what are you doing? What, what, what are you offering me? An obligation to, if we back them in the ongoing diplomatic play against Prussia. Uh, what is currently going? They're being supported by Britain. I, I don't want to deal with this. No decline. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you can deal with your own shit. Thank you. It's probably not going to work out so well in your favor here, Austria, but you know, we'll accept it anyway. The rise of radicalism. Support the radical movement. Definitely. And wait, what is this? An illegitimate government. What do you mean an illegitimate government? No. I, I guess we're going to have to deal with this now here. Oh, 
Crocodile. Wait, return state in Arabia. What is it? The Ottoman Empire started return state against Egypt. Ooh. The Egyptian Ottoman crisis. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on this region. Absolutely, you know? You know? Anything I can do to spread my stuff further. Intelligence never written a manifesto demanding our government make certain concessions in order to protect the public welfare. Well, yes. Absolutely. Our friends across the border. As the flames of revolution encroach on Alsace Lorraine, Prussian shareholders have petitioned the government for immediate aid, and Prussian gendarmes are stationed across the border. Uh, no, our own law enforcement is capable of handling this. Yeah, it's going to radicalize things further, but it will help us at least uh, push this town a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Hey, hey, what is this? The provisional government? The crisis throughout France has proven too much for Louis Philippe de Hollande to, to, uh, to handle. He has been forced to abdicate and flee the country, and a provisional Republican government has declared. Yes, I managed to do this without actually breaking out into a revolution. Okay, that is actually huge. Long live the Republic. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, okay. That means that we're gonna need to do a couple things here immediately, right? Uh, okay. Immediately remove the consumption tax. Uh, we're also gonna need to lower the taxes, which is actually gonna hurt us a lot here, but hopefully we have the budget to be able to sustain all this, at least for a time. We have to lower taxes because now the new government that is in charge is... <laughs> What is this? Plotting a revolution. Wait, no, we, we got this. Shouldn't it reset? It should reset, right? No home affairs. What the hell, man? Okay, well, you know what? We still have the government in charge. We're gonna have new elections. We are gonna tax the shit out of people until then so that the people hate us. Aggressive campaigning, minus 20% momentum for resistance party, plus 30% for the Republican Union. Yes! A new election! Let's see, Adolphe Thiers is the new president of the French Republic. What do we have here? Illegitimate government, but guess what? Guess what? Bam! There we go. The Catholic Church. Oh, wow. The cat. They are quite angry here. That's actually not great. Um, all right. We're going to do that. Uh, intelligentsia, we're going to stop bolstering you. And landowners, we're going to suppress you. I want to weaken that as much as possible. The Catholic Church isn't as much of a problem, but uh, we need to support the Republican Union as much as possible here. As we get all this updated. Ooh, okay. Wait, hold on. I can produce more coal. I can produce more everything. Okay. Yes. More coal, more iron being produced. Are people going to lose their jobs? Yes. Do I care? No. We're going to produce as much of this as we possibly can. And that has given me a massive deficit on tools. Okay. We're going to need to build up a lot of that. Budgets, uh, we don't want them to be unpopular. We're going to lower the taxes here, get all that down. Yes, we're going to lose a ton of money. We are losing a ton of money, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll be able to do this. We'll get taxes on services. That'll affect everyone. And this way we'll actually have some decent authority to be able to do things. Whew, I am steadily losing income over time, but you know what? That is perfectly fine. If we can just make this a lot better for us, uh, we, we, we can boost these. I'm sure these will be fine. We should also reduce the autonomy of Tunis, that should be fine with us here. Morocco, reduce the autonomy of you. Yes, become my dominions. Perfect, That that's beautiful, that is beautiful. Oh my God, wait, where did the Ottoman Empire take back large swaths of Egypt, what? Let's see, textile mills, we can finally upgrade this. Yes, it's gonna consume a lot more fabric, it's gonna consume a lot more everything in here, but you know, that's perfectly fine. So with that, tools, wood, everything else can be produced at a much higher rate. Though these textile mills are not necessarily very profitable anymore, I can make stuff for great purposes now. Holy shit, wood is expensive. Okay, hold up. How expensive is hardwood? Hardwood is so cheap. I don't need any of this shit. Whoa, what is over here happening with the Ottomans? Okay, wait, that that is a lot. Um, Ottoman religious revolt? <laughs> okay. Trader, no, United States. No, 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 no. Everyone will buy my goods, whether they like it or not. Oh my God, I'm realizing this. I'm actually technically bigger than Great Britain. Okay, no, we got to keep up the growth. We got to keep up this growth. Republican Union. Oh, dominating this. Okay, from government to 87. Dude, dude, dude. You kidding me? You kidding me? 87 legitimate government? Everyone gets happy? That's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. Now laws, what can we do? Let's see, we'll oppose this from five to negative nine. Oh my God, could I do this? Will they'll go radical? This will radicalize, no, no, no. We're gonna go census suffrage. Yes, we can finally get census suffrage. Let's do it. Weaken the landowners even more. You don't need wealth to get a maid, baby. Oh God, you are not getting a revolution in here. No, 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 not gonna happen. Ah, in fact, the revolution failed. Perfect. Hey, Radical Haiti has paid its indemnity and debts in full. Per the terms of the agreement with us, it's now free of its obligations. Yeah, <laughs> that whole thing with the Haitian debt. You know, they, they did it. It's great. It's great. Pons of liberal reforms are looking to spread their ideas to neighboring countries. Yes, spread them everywhere. All right, there's fractal desolation. That is done. Beautiful for us. 
Now, chemical bleaching and baking powder and nitroglycerin. We want to start making things as cheap as possible for the people within our country. Because like, yeah, this is an example that's going to cause me to use more stuff. Actually, I should wait to do this here. I should wait until I start finishing off more of these buildings before I switch over. Really? A setback already? Dude, you've had like a 50% chance. This is like the third freaking round, man. The third freaking round. Just let the maid slip things into your drinks, damn it. Wait, Russia sided with Austria and the diplomatic play against San Marco. Okay, well, that that's something. Um, Hold up, hold up. If they're doing that do you think i could do something else like just for curiosity's sake do you think i could get sardinia piedmont i might be able to do this I'm, I'm, i might Let, let's let's see what happens let's see what happens yeah russia is siding with them but i don't know what that means here uh let's see they're looking at allying on this side i could get the united states i could get prussia so with transfer states corsica senegal french ivory coast no 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 i want to offer them pieces of austria if anything right no they're not going to do it they want alsace lorraine Russia can't do anything on that side. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Quick upgrade the military wages. I know we're going to be spending lots of money, but it's all right. It's all right. We're going to move in here as rapidly as we possibly can. There we go. Keep on moving in. We're going to gradually tear through them. The more of this territory that we can take here, the better. We already took one of their islands. There we go. Just keep on grinding away. We got this. We got this. Just keep on pushing in. Yes. Okay. We're going to gradually push. Another setback. Are you freaking kidding me? How many am I going to build up in here? There we go. Sardinia Piedmont is taken. Yes. We did it. War goals. Yes. We have made it to our protectorate. Beautiful. 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 Blah, 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 blah. Beautiful. That is actually going to be huge for us. And now I can make Morocco my puppet. Or no, no. My, yeah, yeah. Just my straight puppet. And that is beautiful. The French market grows ever stronger now. With all these buildings being built and me now having actual decent surplus of money, that means that I should be able to now focus on universities and drastically boost myself here up construction-wise. The more access to education we get over here, the better. So we're going to start spreading universities out across the entire country. And it is simultaneously going to strengthen the intelligentsia, which is exactly what we want. Genius service maids. All right, new election. Here we go. Republican Union still maintaining our nice victory. Okay, legitimate. Can I reform it all? No, it's just better to keep it as is. Could I, could I, what if I add the, how would adding the industrialists do this? What, why, why would that, why would that reduce? Why would that reduce? And with universities being constructed, that means the next thing for us to do is to switch things over to the philosophy department. That's going to require way more paper, and we're going to need to start building up paper, but it's fine because we can start upgrading all of our stuff here. Reduce the autonomy of Tunis, and they refused. Okay, well, that that's fun. You shouldn't have done that, buddy. You shouldn't have done that. Two Sicilies has sided with Tunis in the diplomatic play against French... Really? Two Sicilies, huh? Two Sicilies, huh? Well, we can't have that now, can we? I do not like the idea of this. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte has been exiled from Luxembourg. What were you doing there, buddy? How much infamy can I afford here before it goes over 100? I can afford a lot, actually. Okay, well, two Sicilies. Um, it's time for you to become my puppet then. You made the mistake of doing this, not me. Listen, I said I was going to be a maid, all right? I said we were going to do this. I said we were going to make all the products. Here's the big kicker. Um, instead, I'm turning the world into my maid. I'm getting a lot of servants, if you will. And I got a new commander who is disliked because he's a bigot. You're a member of the intelligentsia, buddy. Just because you're ugly does not mean that you can do that. So we're going to launch a naval invasion there, and we're going to take the other guys and launch a naval invasion over here. Which army do we have left? Let's do it. Launch our simultaneously strikes. We surround Tunis on all sides. We let them go and deploy their military over here. And in the meantime, we invade and completely crush all resistance. And we get census suffrage at the same time. Beautiful. There's the Tunisian autonomy. They're now back to being my puppet. If we could just take this territory real quick. I'm winning all the battles around this. Total separation. We'll see. Ah, okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. There it goes. Okay. Push them back. There's baking powder. With baking powder, now we can unlock even more stuff. We're going to get things even more quickly. Pharmaceutical, psychiatry, and then improve fertilizer. You know what? We want that because we want even more stuff for farming. We reduce grain as much as possible so that people can afford everything, and they're going to be great. Beautiful. There's two Sicilies, the capital occupied. And there's no stop of the French now. Let's see. Market groceries, moderately expensive. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Now that we have baking powder, that means we can do this. It's going to require grain, sugar, everything. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We will do that and simultaneously patent sills. Beautiful. Make a lot more money. Produce a lot more goods. And two Sicilies becomes my protectorate. They're now power to mine. Path to liberalism fully complete. <laughs> Okay, like, listen, listen, we had census suffrage. That's all that matters. Um, I wouldn't necessarily describe this uh, French Republic empire that we're building here as very um, liberal, if you will, but freedom, equality, and brotherhood. And now perhaps the voices of reason is needed before things get too radical. Yeah, we don't want to get too crazy. Austria, no, 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 no. You don't, 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 don't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm going to improve relations all to you. I don't want you to hate me. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't hate me. Don't worry about it. Okay, now 
we might need to chill for just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Let's see. And Glassworks, yeah, that's all getting fixed. That's perfectly fine. They're still making a profit. We can still get all of this fixed. It's not, it's, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's totally good. Generals misfired cannon. An affair between Thomas Beauregard and Victor Timberley's spouse has reached our ears. Threatening to affect his public image if we don't destitute the general. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, to have him step down. I don't, I don't need a general with syphilis. So now that we have that, what we're going to need to probably do is build a whole bunch more government administration because we're going to need more bureaucrats, more clerks, more everything here. And that should help us with our taxation capacity and everything in here too. Diplomatic play. Whoa. Hey, hey, what is going on here? Conquer lower Egypt and then ban slavery. Whoa, Britain, Britain, Britain. What what, what, are you, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing there? You're doing quite a lot. Wait, a current radical liberal thought of spreading internationally has reached France. Wait, who is this? He's the admiral. What is he a member of? The industrialists. Uh, let's hear what they have to say. Sure. You know what? I don't care. Still getting the Republican Union with the Democratic Alliance. So what? Can I? I have a righteous government currently. There's no reason to have to reform my government or anything right now. Dude, dude, this is great. I will take this. Let's see, per capita, yeah, that's all good. I don't need to do anything here. Dude, my government is doing great. The only thing I really need to do is I need to get rid of tenant farmers and put on homesteading, but I can't, I can't quite do that yet. However, if I go down to total separation, then this means religions will be accepted based on always. I can accept people. Oh, that could make the population more happy, especially as I get more pops from other places here because I puppeted a lot of the Muslim world, to be fair. We'll consider that. We will, we will try to pass that here soon. You know what? Actually, we'll do that now. We don't need to serve God. We only need to serve as proper maids. What the fuck? Am I, what am I saying? Oh my God. What the hell? Hold on. Britain declared war. Why is part of the Ottomans occupying this? How? how what? They're, they're not at war. The Ottomans are not at war. Why? Why does, what, what, what? There we go. We have total separation of church and state. Religions will now always be accepted. That is beautiful for us. Perfect. And Prussia is currently burning to the ground. Wait, hold on. If Prussia is burning to the ground, oh, and I'm no longer going to have as much authority. Okay, we're going to start removing some consumption taxes. We have law enforcement. We have home affairs. We have improved fertilizer. That is beautiful for us. And that means I can now get the rotary valve. I can also get steel. Oh my God, I can produce everything. Russia sided with Prussia in the diplomatic play against the aristocratic revolt. Perfect. Hold up. Wait a minute. That means I may have the time now. I'm still notorious, but I've been reduced by like what? 17? Yes, that'll only cost 7.5. And there's a 65% chance that they will accept. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see. The answer was no. Nope, they, 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 they did not agree. They did not agree. Well, we got some work to do here then. And I mean, since you're going to make me spend so much money over here anyway, you might as well also pay war reparations just so that you can't really do anything here further. And with this, we can go ahead and get fertilizers, which is a massive amount of income in the first place. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Harvesting tools to reduce the amount of laborers. That's going to make that better for us on this side. And from that, we're going to need a ton more fertilizer. Let's see, we got the steam donkey. Perfect. That's going to be awesome over on this side. And by updating all of those, I won't need to produce nearly as much other stuff. So that's perfect on here. And with that, Sardinia Piedmont once again reduced down to nothing. Beautiful. And beautiful. They are now a full puppet, right? Oh, wait, no. Are they? Are they only become a dominion? Yeah, they're a dominion. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. Dominions are also acceptable in the scenario. It took some more time, so it didn't really raise our notoriety all that much because even more time passed while we had to wait for that to process down. Britain, you are still fighting down here and you can't do it anything. What the hell is going on down here? Eh, two Sicilies. You know what? It's uh, time to reduce autonomy for you. You're also not going to accept. Great. Well, uh, yoink. Time to do that to you and let's see if anyone actually sides with you. I'd, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see someone have Prussia. Hmm. Any country's going to side with me? Nope. Spain is also willing to join over on that side. Okay, that's interesting. Well, time to mobilize all armies then. All right, we're going to have you all hold out here for as long as possible. Then on the meantime, on the other side, we're going to have to try and go... Oh, God, I'm spazzing out here. Either way, war breaks out, and that means that if you're going to be attacking me over here on this side, you will need to launch a naval invasion for... And you, I'm going to deploy right over here to Prussia in order to harass them as much as possible. All right, our military wages are already maxed out on there. That's fine. Okay, we're going to keep on spending that and get as many boosts to this as we possibly can. There we go. Republican Union, another one. Massive vote. Perfect. We still a righteous government? Yes, we are. There we go. Keep on holding them out. Come on. Come on. The more of these that we slaughter on this side, the better. I am losing a decent amount of men, but, you know, we're taking out more of them. Peace, peace out Prussia. What happened to Prussia? I didn't do anything. Oh. Sympathetic to the plight, Mathieu de la Drôme, leader of the rural folk, has proposed granting a French citizenship to Algeria's native Jew population, which is going to piss them off uh, a lot. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's do it. It's not going to cause problems like at any point in the future for anything. Now, does it? There we go. There we go. Finally, we make the landing. Keep on pushing them back. 
And perfect. Two Sicilies, their autonomy reduced. It took like a couple years of fighting, but you know, now they can't actually resist us anymore. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Two Sicilies, a nice substantial economy in here with a nice little Frenchy flag on there. And more diplomatic packs. We were making 34,000 pounds from just diplomatic packs, which we are then able to use in order to boost our economy and country. Oh, you thought that my service that I was offering was free? No, how else do you think we're paying all the maids? By getting other servant countries to pay for it. Get the rotary valve make everything significantly more efficient. That's exactly what we want to do. Steel mill. Yeah, I don't care if it's going to make some of these things not very profitable. It is okay. It is a-okay. And with the log... Oh my god, that is so many logging camps I'll need to construct. Okay, that is a lot. It's a lot. It's probably going to wreck my economy, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Oh, and I'm going to need so much coal. So, so, so much coal now. And despite taking stuff over, my notoriety is still going down. It's still going down because I haven't conquered enough. And you know, I think I've done enough mindless conquest here right now. I think it's time that we just start freeing things because what's more freeing than servitude if you will papal state papal states has sided with the ottoman empire are you serious are you really really now why would you go and do something like that right no 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 one's even supporting no one's even supporting this that, that that's some bullshit now i gotta go over here and mobilize my entire military just for some utter crap and as we get close, that means I now have the perfect opportunity to go and add a whole bunch more war goals. I can make the Papal States my protectorate, and I can make the Ottomans liberate Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah, that seems like a pretty appropriate course of action. And Bulgaria, yes. I'll have you do that too. Yeah, this seems like a decent amount. Yeah. Ottoman Empire back down in diplomatic play, yielding the primary war goal to us. Wait. Oh, they didn't want to risk. They didn't want to run the risk. Wait, hold on. That means the Papal States? Are they? Are they now? Oh, no. I should have made the Papal States the primary. Son of a bitch. That only freed Syria. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, I was so close. I was so close too. Because did that add any notoriety? No, it didn't really add any notoriety to me. That's fine. Let's see. The resistance party here. That means we can do dynamite. Oh my God. That's going to generate so much stuff. Okay. That might be a little bit too much, but you know what? It's fine. Oh God. No, no. That's going to make it. It's not going to make it profitable. And you know with that? I think that we have a very solid start to this. We're still number four in the world in terms of GDP. We are actually fairly far behind Britain at this point as they are starting to get a lot of stuff here from all of their vassals, which is the really unfortunate thing that happened. If I wanted to do something to screw over Britain, I probably would have taken India from the very beginning. But right now, I think that that's okay. What we need to primarily focus on doing is boosting up our technology and getting the military tech that is necessary in order to be able to take on the Prussians because soon they're going to be starting to unite Germany. If you all would like to see that, and if you want to see Made in France become a reality, and if you want to see us make Germany pay, I guess, then make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what it is that you'd like to see in the comment section down below, and I think that we have done pretty good here today. My friends, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much, and goodbye.